Okay, thank you for coming down to this room. And we are going to talk about port management with OpenStack Congress and Bitrage based on the OpenFV Doctor framework. And first, uh, let's go next. Yeah, first, I introduce or uh, focus on the failure, failure inspection in OpenFV Doctor project. Then I pass to Ohad to uh, asking him to provide more information how to configure the bitrage or how you can set uh, to get the failure event uh, to pass the OpenStack component or to, to your uh, upper layer uh, application managers. And then Masa will also provide a similar solution with Congress. So let's start. So the, this is a, a, a the basic idea of virtualized platform. So we have uh, physical machines and hardware switches. And on top of that, the uh, OpenStack create virtualized uh, environment, which, which like uh, VM and actually it's called instance or server. And we also have batch, virtual network and VM also has a uh, virtual port. And we also have uh, volumes and those are connected and then operator or service provider can uh, do some services to, the, to their users. Then the difficulties in this situation, once we have some failure, for instance, uh, NIC failure, uh, we have to identify which virtualized resources are affected uh, by that uh, fault or failure. In the, in the infrastructure layer. So it's very difficult to investigate. Uh, it's, it, it's often occurred in the uh, cloud, uh, cloud, cloud services. So uh, many, most, uh, most public cloud providers may have some the, their own tools or may they might build some solutions for that. And the, the difficulty is that how we can define the fault or the failure, it really depends on its architecture or application or the, the back-end technologies that are used in their own infrastructure. So, and sometimes they have a redundant uh, NICs or the, the hardwares. So, if you have any problems, one of the redundant NIC, then we sh it still get alive because uh, the, the backup is still uh, active. So it's really difficult to define the failure. And sometimes a company, a company or, sorry, government has the regulation or the uh, operator has uh, various policies. So failure has to be configurable. So this is a one requirement that, that we identified. In the doctor project, we defined it for manage, management architecture, and I already uh, explained it in the keynote. And as I said in the keynote, we have Nova, Neutron, Cinder that already, uh, actually Neutron are still uh, ongoing, but we have the API to collect this virtual status, for instance, uh, Booyam can be uh, reset to error or active by external uh, admin tools or admin itself. And Cinder also has uh, have the API to correct the status of the, uh, the fault affected volumes. And once someone was some tools fix that status, they send out notification to the uh, serometer and the AODH then they can send out alarm to the upper layer, right? So, the, but to do that, we still need someone to put the failure or the or fault information to those controllers. So Congress and Bitrage can do that. Okay, this is a more detailed about the APIs. So Nova has a reset server status with this uh, post URL and 
they also have the false down API for the uh, Nova compute services. We can estimate there could be some uh, false failure, but actually it was a bit different, but similar. And Neutron, uh, Carlos, uh, one of my crazy are, are proposing this new API to present the, an availability of the port to the user. And Cinder already has uh, its reset API to, to set uh, various status of the volumes. So let's check the two uh, inspector module, uh, Bitrage and Congress. Those have uh, different characteristics, but what to know? So what, please? Thank you, Ryota. My name is Oad. I'm product manager in a cloud band uh, Nokia, leading uh, Vitrage from the product uh, side. And in the next uh, 15 minutes, I will talk about uh, Vitrage, the OpenStack uh, project, and then how we are integrated into the Dr. OPNV fault management uh, project. So a lot of people coming to me and ask what is the meaning of the word Vitrage. So Vitrage is a stained uh, glass window, which every piece of the colorful, every colored piece of the window does not mean nothing by itself, but when you combine everything together, you get the whole picture. So what is Vitrage in, in OpenStack? What is the, the OpenStack project? Vitrage is official project uh, for root cause analysis. The main three function for Vitrage is first to, to provide root cause analysis, to understand why faults occurred, what is the reasoning for, for a failure. The second one is to raise deduce alarms and, and, and states. What is deduce alarm? So deduce alarm is alarm that is not directly observed, but deduced coming from the system insight. And, and, and same for, for, for deduced states. And last, because, and I will show it in a minute, the way that we are storing the information, the, the, the multiple data sources that we have, we provide an holistic and complete view, aggregating together the relationship between the three different layers, from the hardware to the virtual to the application uh, layer. So the, the architecture highlights behind Vitrage are, first, we have multiple data sources. We support a, a lot of data sources. It, it easily to, to extend, easily to add more data sources. We have entity topology uh, graph that reflect the relationship between the different entities, between the different uh, layers. And we have configurable business logic. We have a different system, different customer with different need. So we want your system to be configurable to, to fit to, to each uh, configuration. So let's deep dive a bit into the high-level architecture of uh, Vitrage. So let's start with the data sources. Here in the left, you can see the, the data sources supported in, in Newton release. So we, we supported uh, several OpenStack uh, projects, the, the big ones, the core ones, like the Nova, Cinder, Neutron, uh, AODH for telemetry. But we also support uh, external tools like the Zabbix and, and the Nagios. And as I said, I, we, we can easily extend it. The next main component is the template. The template actually holds the business logic of Vitrage, and I will elaborate it about it in, in a minute. We have a Vitrage dashboard, UI, a Horizon plugin screen, uh, to, to present all the, the insight coming from Vitrage, and I will, I will present a short demo for Vitrage, uh, so you will see the, 
the UI screen. And last, Vitraj also have the notifiers to notify other projects, could be internal project in, in OpenStack like AODH, or could be external to notify external systems on, on, on the deduce alarms, on the RCA, uh, etc. So I want to, to get into the, the Vitraj business logic uh, the Vitrage uh, template. So, template contains three, three sections. The first section is like the metadata, the name, the description of the template. The second section is the definitions, which entities are part of this template, what are the relationship between those entities, and maybe the, the, main, the main part of the template is the scenario. The scenario defines the conditions and the action that we want to, to take. It's very, it's written in, in YAML format, very human readable, very easy to, to edit or to add more uh, templates. So let, let, let's take an example of a template. Uh, host ICPU load. So we have three scenarios in this template. The first scenario is to raise al an alarm. When we have ICPU load on the host, and the host contains instances, we want to take two actions. The first one is to raise the deduce alarm on the instance, and the second one is to set the state of, of that instance to be suboptimal or error, depends on, on your configuration, on your business logic. The second scenario is to, to add the root cause analysis link to link between the hardware failure, the, the ICPU uh, load on the host, and the instance error. And the last one is to, to set the host uh, state. In this case, it could be to, to suboptimal. In other cases, it could be that Vitrage will call Nova to mark the host down, etc. So. This is how it looks in Vitrage uh, templates. You can see these three scenarios written in YAML. If you can read it, it's, it's very, very, very easy to understand, very easy to edit or to more, more templates like this. How does it work? So we have another component in Vitrage. It's called the Vitrage uh, Evaluator. The evaluator listens to changes uh, in, in the entity graph, and upon uh, event, it retrieves the, the relevant template. We can have a lot of templates, so the, the evaluator should find the relevant template for, for, for this event. Then to evaluate the condition in, in those templates, and to execute the action. And we are using a subgraph matching to do that. So you can, you can imagine that every scenario in the template is like a, a small graph, and you have to find how this small graph is, where, where this subgraph in, 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 the, in the big graph. So now let's. Let's present a, a short uh, demo for, for Vitrage. I'm okay. Thank you. So, maybe I need to do this. Okay. So these are the Vitrage uh, UI screen. You can see on the left, it's, it's, it's horizon based and we have a four uh, screen. We have the topology screen, we have the, the, the alarm screen, the entity graph and the template. Let's start with the first one, the topology screen. It's a hierarchical uh, view of the compute. Uh, the, 
we we can see that the it, it's hard to see, but the inner ring is the the OpenStack cluster. Then it's the Nova availability zones. Then we have the the computes, the Nova computes, compute. Uh, you can you can play, compute uh, uh, zero one, and then we have uh, two VMs on that compute. On the left side, you can see all the information about the selected uh, entities. It's very easy to see if you have a fellow that there is something uh, which is not green. So, yeah, you can play it. Thank you. So now move to the entity graph. The entity graph is the topology of the entire system, getting all the entities from all the data sources you can see on the top the, the OpenStack cluster, the Nova, the computes. On the button, you can see the application, the each stack. The each stack has two instances, the application servers connected to, to Cinder volumes. And again, you have all the information for the selected uh, entity on the left side. Moving to the templates view. Here are the, the template list. We have currently five templates loaded in, in the system. I, in, in this case, I, 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 I selected the, the Ostnik uh, failure scenario, a different scenario when, from my first example. So you, you can see all the, the three sections, the entities, the, the, the relationship, and then the scenario. The first scenario is that if you have a, a OSTNIC failure and the OST contain is instance, we want to raise alarm on the instance and then to set the state of the instance. We have the root cause and, uh, and last to set the state of, of the OST. So it's, it's easy to, to see what, what does each template contains and how it will what are the action that will be executed once we will find the matching for, for this uh, template. So now what we, we are going to do is to simulate OSTNIC failure. We have a Zabbix, in, Zabbix install here, so we are simulated uh, OSTNIC failure in, in, in Zabbix. And this is the, the Zabbix uh, screen. And once we got the failure, you can see here we have a public uh, interface uh, down. And if we are coming back to, to the vitrage screen, now I am going to the alarm uh, list, and we can see four alarms. But why I got four alarms? I raised only one alarm in Zabbix. So you can see that. I have one alarm in Zabbix, the last one, but I have three additional alarms raised by Vitrage. These are the deduce alarms, the, the two alarms on the VMs, the two VMs that hosted on, on, on that host, and the third alarm is on the application. It's how to understand what what are the relationship between those alarms so I can go to the root cause analysis diagram for, for this specific alarm and then I can see very clearly that the, that the application error caused by the VM network problem caused by the OSTNIC failure. So we, uh, and last week, and, uh, in a minute, I, I will go back to the topology view. So in the hierarchical view, back we called it the sunburst. It's, it's very easy to see that we have a section that is not uh, green. In this example, it's yellow. Then you can drill down and, and figure out what, what happened and go and troubleshooting your, your, your fellow. And if I am back to the entity graph, I can see the relevant instances that are now in, in yellow, and we have those four alarms in, in red and all the relationship between them. So this was a short demo for Vitrage.
And, and now I, after this very brief overview about what Vitrage does, I want to talk about Vitrage and, and Dr. OPNV. So as Royota explained, Vitrage is one of the, together with Congress, was one of the reference implementation for the doctor inspector. Vitrage using uh, push and pull interfaces for various uh, monitoring tools. Uh, and we have, because of supporting those mechanisms, we have a, a very fast failure notification. Uh, the requirement are uh, 500 milliseconds to do switch over, so Vitrage can, can support uh, fast failure notification. We have the mapping between the, the different layers, between the hardware layer, the virtual layer, and the each stack uh, layer. Vitrage expose more faults. We, we, we enrich the, the faults and the, and the statuses of the system. For example, in the, in the example that I just uh, showed, if you go to Nova, you will see that all the VMs, all the, all the computes are up and running although there is a NIC failure. So Vitrage add additional information and additional alarms to, to, to the user. We provide the, the root cause analysis indicator to the application manager. So you can get the same failure, but you want to take a different actions depends on the root cause analysis for, for the same action. And, and last, as I presented, Vitrage is very configurable. You can adjust the templates to, to your own system, to your own configuration. Thank you. I will move to Massa for, to present the uh, Congress. Uh, uh, thanks, Ohad. I'm Masahito from NTT, and I'm also working on Congress project, which is uh, one of Big Ten projects in OpenStack. So before starting my part, I want to do a quick survey about Congress project. So please raise your hand if you know the name of Congress project. Oh, Congress is famous rather than the Austin Summit. And next, if you use Congress before or you are using Congress project now, please raise your hand. Oh, only one person using a Congress now. So it looks like half of us uh, know what is Congress, so I should start what is, explain what is Congress first. So Congress is a governance as a service. Uh, Congress enables cloud administrators to define and enforce their policy for cloud services. So now I'm, I'm thinking you have a question. What the meaning of policy that Congress can manage? Because the meaning of policy is, is varied based on your background like uh, law, regulations, business rules, security requirement, application requirement, so on. But now, the goal of Congress project is managing any policy to any services. So this is, this is a quick overview of Congress project. Congress project is roughly divided to three parts. The first part is the API, which is described in the top of that boxes. It, uh, the cloud administrator can define their policy via API, and the services outside of Congress can push that their, their information to Congress. And second part of Congress is data source driver. The data source driver is in charge of collecting data from cloud services. In this slide, Nova and Neutron is in the cloud, and then Nova data source driver and Neutron data 
source driver pull the data from NOVA and Neutron. And also, the monitor in Docta process pulls the data via API to Docta data source driver, and the data source driver keep it in, the, in it. And finally, third part of Congress is policy engine. Policy engine calculate that policy violation based on the policy defined cloud administrator and uh, data collected by data source driver. So in this case, policy engine define uh, detect some error in Nova. So policy engine say, hey Nova data source driver, to fix the problem in Nova, you should call that API to Nova. And then this is the data flow of Congress in Docta project. First, monitor process outside, that outside of Congress notify the hardware failure events to Congress. And then Docta data source driver receives that event and insert to it event list of Docta data. And then policy engine receives a failure event and evaluate registered policy by administrator and enforce state corrections. And this state correction is written in number four. Policy engine instructs Nova, so Nova, Nova driver to perform host service down API and reset state of VMs via Nova API. So this is the details of a schema in Dr. Driver and the example of that event notified that monitor process. Upper side of box shows that schema of that event notified that monitor process. And that lower side of box shows that example. ID is that some kind of ID notified by that monitor process. And time is when that event happened. And type is what kind of event happened. And host name is which, which monitor, sorry, where the event happened. And status is kind of that event of status status of event, and monitor shows that name of monitor process which report that event, and the monitor event ID is some kind of ID used in the monitor process. So this is a quick overview of Congress and how we use a Congress project in Docta framework. But now I'm thinking, how we use this architecture and uh, data. So I will, next, I will explain next that policy that used in the doctor project, because the policy used in the Congress is uh, one of the most important thing for Congress project. So if we say that policy used in the doctor project in natural language, we can say that a hypervisor and instances on that hypervisor must down status or error status if some error are reported by monitor. Very simple, I guess, I think it's a simple policy. So if Congress can handle and understand the natural language, it's very simple. But now, Congress can't understand that natural language, so we have to translate that policy to Congress-style policy. So from now, I will explain that policy, ah, sorry, Congress-style policy. So first one is we have to list hypervisor that violate the policy. The violate 
meaning still in up state, even though it's reported some error happens in that hypervisor. The upper side of box have a list of rules which we have to define in Congress. And the second one is we have to define list instances that violate the policy. In that case, the violate means stealing active status even though it's reported some error happens in the hypervisor that virtual machine runs on. By the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By the eight lines of policy, it's it can list of these policy violations, uh, sorry, hypervisors and the instances by the policy. So next, the Congress in Doctor Project, it is supposed to call Nova API to, host, to change the status of hypervisor and uh, virtual machines. So we have to define how to fix the violation in Congress. So upper side of box shows that how we uh, Upper side of box shows that uh, the rule of uh, how we call Mac Hostdown API to the hypervisor. And the lower side of box shows that how we call set reset state API for that instances which violate our rule. So I think you could have that question, how we defined that event I mentioned before is failure or not failure. So next, I will show you two scenarios that how we define that uh, event that cause a failure. So, First scenario is for sensitive application or sensitive operators. So the application or this operator think define both non-broken event and broken event cause a failure. In this slide, markdown event, oh sorry, in this case, markdown event is listed and then this operator think host nick one down and host nick two down and host CPU high load is failure and it this kind of event cause could cause the failure of a system. So they they have to list all three event as a failure. Uh, Next is the second scenario. In this scenario, cloud administrators think, uh, second scenario is for insensitive applications or insensitive operators. So they don't think that CPU high load cause any failure for system or applications. So in that case, the just difference between scenario one two, and two is just uh, this event is defined or not. So in that case, we can use, we can define hostnik one is down and hostnik two down. It's only that event calls a failure. So like that, very simple to change that, our policy to Dr. Framework. So that's a feature of Congress. So that's up. Okay. Yeah. We have five minutes for question if anyone has. But just go to the mic on, on the side. Please use microphone. It's a bit far. 
Sorry. <laughs> Can you go to the mic because of the recording? Thank you. Hello. Uh, how can I uh, rapidly deploy it or use it? You, you're asking how to deploy Congress and Bitrage? Uh, yes. OK. So Bitrage is an OpenStack project we have uh, Puppet installation, we have a uh, dev stack installation, and I think we have all the documentation in, 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 in the open stack. Uh, for Congress project, it's also the same because dev stack plugin is supported in Congress, and uh, any kind of deploy project could would support, I guess, I think support Congress project. Yeah. And also, we have OPNA free release. Now uh, we have just released uh, sad release, Colorado release. In it, we have Congress in it. And next, we might have uh, Bitrate as well. So it's very easy to deploy with one, one it's not one click, but <laughs> it's very easier than uh, setting up integrate by yourself. More questions? So I, I, I just uh, forgot to, to mention that uh, we, we have a full demo of Vitrage in the Nokia booth. So if someone wants to, to go into the details, so please go to the Nokia booth. And there is OPNV booth. Uh, so you can uh, get more information about the, the doctor project uh, there. So please come uh, to, uh, to our uh, booth. Uh, and, and please feel it. free to reach out to us. And yeah, yeah Doctor are defining framework, but it's still uh, relying on those upstream projects like OpenStack Congress and OpenStack Bitrage. So yeah, let's please reach out to us. I, we can answer your question. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.